Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Hainick, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So, Brad, what he's playing with here is our giveaway. I'm not playing. I'm yeah. treating. I'm working my. So, this back. is the T6, right? Yeah, it is. And this X6. is X6. X6. Yeah, X, X6. That's and the model. Our biggest gun, right? Yes. And it's, it's got the only one with a, with a metal head. Right. It's a powerful gun. But it's, it's for got the four other heads, too. You're interrupting me, Bob. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it does. And they're, they're all right here. There you go. And plus this one. Yeah, anyways, nice so how, how do people sign up for it to give oh, away? Go to bombbrad.com. Oh, there you go. Go to the giveaway section, and yeah. you can sign up there. Yeah. Easy, easy peasy. You better believe it. Let's right. get on this push-up deal. Number one push-up mistake frequently make. Um, I have done this one. I've done every mistake yeah but this was the main one that i was doing we live so on mistakes the sh people don't realize that your arms your shoulder attaches to your shoulder blades and the shoulder blades are the foundation mm. of your arms and, and your, your shoulder of the shoulder joint yes. yeah yeah it's amazing that that's the like you say the foundation if that's not working properly Nothing in the whole That's extremity right. works. Mm -hmm. The whole chain falls apart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's like you're pushing off a of sand. I mean, there's no foundation. Sure, it's a good I, good analogy. Yeah. So, all if you look at the shoulder blade here, I just happen to have one. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see that all four rotator cuff muscles attach to the shoulder blade. Right. So we got the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor. And the subscapularis. Oh, well, that subscapularis kind of gets you because it's it's, it's between inside, your rib cage. Right. It's it's buried. So what the rotator cuff does, it helps keep your shoulder, your the head of the humerus, in the socket where it should be. Mm. If they're not working right, this can jam or it can pinch. Right. So how are we going to work with this with push-ups? You'll find out. Uh, okay, Brad, so just hold on. Hold on. Us. So... Brad, why don't you get in the quadruped position this way? Facing that yeah, way? facing that All way. All right. I don't do push-ups like this. No. <laughs> so if, if the shoulder blade, if it wings up like this, you know, you've seen that before where people, their shoulder blades mm. does, don't stay down against the rib cage. Yeah. It's up like this. The rotator cuff can't work right, and it, the shoulder will jam. Also, if you shrug the shoulders, and I want you to shrug them once, yeah, which a lot of people do in push-ups, that also will cause the rotator, rotator cuff to not work right, and it will jam the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do? Uh, we want to make sure that we actually get the shoulder blades working right, and the best way to do that, you want to get the serratus anterior working, and you can start by getting the position Brad does, well, Brad, no, you can stay on your knees. All right. And you're just going to arch up. It's almost like cat camel. Yeah. Yep. That's that's protract, protracting the shoulder blades. Oh. And arch down where you squeeze the shoulder blades together. So what I think, and I've always told my patients, is you have to lock your elbows to get the shoulder blades to move. If you lock your elbows and you think about going up, and then dropping down, your shoulder blades will move properly. So when he goes up, they go down like this a little bit. And when he goes back, he squeezes them together and they come like this. Right. But they're not winging. They're not shrugging. Actually, when you go down, Brad, you should think about putting them together and down. Sure, right. So think about putting those shoulder blades into your back pocket. Yeah, anti-shrug. Uh, you know, you think of what it takes to shrug your shoulders. You're going anti. Yep. And now he's Brad's moving along, and he's doing it in the full push-up position. Should I do it this way so they can see sure. that? Sure. Are you ready, Tanner? So I Beautiful. I'm up and Beautiful. Down. And so you can just do push-ups like this yes, for training. Yes, to start. Exactly. We, we call this the plus. Push-ups with a plus. And That's I'm right. And I'm just doing the plus. And then uh, once you have it down, you can try doing probably a knee push-up. 
There you go. And go all the way down, Brad. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get those shoulder blades down before I do it. Ooh, and try to, you know, so you're really thinking about those muscles because I could feel those small muscles stabilizing the sh shoulder blade get tired after doing right, about 10 right, of these. Exactly. It's, like, it's a different feeling. And then I'm going to get them down and do it right. Well, Brad, if you don't mind, I'm going to take over here. Um, yeah, I'm getting tired. So, so um, you're going to start by warming up the shoulder. Uh, by the way, I always, what I do, Brad, I actually do press-ups. Uh, that way I stretch my back and I get ready for push-ups. Right, he's doing that low back stretch, which uh, uh, is very beneficial for a lot of people. But anyway, if you really want to work on the shoulders right, what you can do is you can get up in this position arch a little bit like this you want and then come to all the way down actually rest on the floor yeah. bread and, and those, then squeeze your shoulder blades yeah. together see all the slack and anti shrug yes so i bring them together oh. and anti shrug and then i go up there you go go down man we should take your shirt off and paint your skin up you can really see how this works but uh, where it's a family show we like <laughs> to keep the clothes on we don't want people vomiting either. yeah absolutely so again, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. anti shrug. Yep. Come up. And now they separate. You can really if we had a camera right above here, you could Would it you be could better this way? Well, sure. Matter <laughs> of fact, this is what I'm gonna do, Bob. I'm gonna put my this is the inside of a shoulder. That's how close they are together. And now look at that. Whoa, they separate Protected. that far. I'm right on the medial edge of that scapula technically speaking, and then he separates. It's like the old bra, lift and separate. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, the, my God. In the 70s, that big, that popular. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I digress. All these things are lively my, with Brad. My filter continues to yeah. fall apart as I get older. But that was uh, a. I can't wait till you're like 90 years old and your filter's completely gone. Uh, what the hell is you get? I mean, gonna, what the heck uh, you gonna shop say talk that? is going to be coming out of it. Right. But you get that yeah. part down and you're well on your way to doing push ups correctly. Yep. And just, just being <sighs> aware of those scapular yeah. motions. Some people aren't even aware of it. Then you say, oh, and that's going to change your posture. It's going to change your activities. And uh, Right. And don't be so caught up in how many push-ups you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, do yep. them right. Right. I mean, that's why go all the way down yep. for a while. Yep. You know? And then eventually you can see how many you can rip off. Right. So, <laughs> all right. We'll do another video next week, Brad. While I'm shooting for five. Mistakes. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. We'll, all right. Be so careful. Much.